Hello everybody, my name is Graham Elwood and you are watching The Political Vigilante, making Gotham great again for 2020. A year ago we had 12,000 subscribers, now we have 58,000 and we keep growing and that's with YouTube throttling us and unsubscribing people. So make sure you're subscribed. Well, I've been asking, we've all been asking, how come Jalene Maxwell hasn't even been investigated? Well, that changed over the holidays. December 27th, British socialite Jalene Maxwell and others probed in possible connection with Epstein's source. This came out of ABC News. This came out December 27th. So that's a, that's a dead week in journalism between Christmas and New Year's. So let's pay attention to this. This is good news, ultimately, but let's pay attention to how they're saying and when, when this happened is very critical, right? So probed in possible connection. What, I don't know what more evidence you need, but we're still just kind of vaguely talking about this. Part of the reason, in my opinion, is because so many of us, myself included, many of you, other indie journalists, have not let this go. So much so that they started talking about it in, Senate when, in the Senate when they were grilling that woman who was in charge of the Bureau of, uh, of Prisons, right? They're now investigating British socialite Jalene Maxwell and others linked to Epstein to determine whether any other crimes were committed in conjunction with the financier's sex trafficking charges, according to a source briefed on the case. I'll, I'll help you out there, FBI. Yes. Yes. How do we know this? Well, first, there's Re Virginia Roberts Gufri, or I, I always mispronounce that name. All of her information... Not to, th this is just what is in the public domain we know Jalene Maxwell was involved. I've done numerous videos. I have a whole Epstein playlist. Um, not coincidentally, most of those videos have been demonetized. Go through my whole Epstein playlist. One of them is called uh, Meet the Pimps. It's Jalene Maxwell and all the women around Epstein that were, in, that were paying attention. And, and participating, not even paying attention, that's not the right word, who were actively participating in trafficking these women. Virginia Roberts even said that Jelaine Maxwell uh, raped her when she was a child. So Jelaine Maxwell is a pedophile and a sex trafficker. And they're just finally now, late December, figuring out maybe we should get involved in this. It's because we're putting on constant pressure because they want this to go the way. The ruling class wants this to go away, but it's not. The main focus of the ongoing probe is whether other people facilitated Epstein's criminal conduct or conspired with him. Yes, the answer is yes. Yes. But listen to this language. This came from Reuters, which was reported by ABC News. Now the FBI and, and the Department of Justice have said nothing because they, this kind of got leaked maybe, but they don't like talking about investigations unless, until they make a formal statement. The authorities will also need to determine whether any conduct, even if provable, violated U.S. federal law to the point charges could be brought. Trafficking a minor across state lines across international lines, there you go. There's your crime, FBI. I just told you that. You trafficked a minor. Dozens of them. That's a federal crime, taking a minor across state lines without their parents' consent. There, there you go. Oh, have sex with a minor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, these are other crimes. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a law doctor, but I'm pretty sure those are pretty upfront standard federal crimes. I don't know. International sex trafficking? I don't, is that a crime? You see this? There's a billionaire ruling elite global sex trafficking industry that makes billions of dollars. That's why this investigation takes so there's so much pressure being put on this to go away, go away, go away, go away. But it won't. And it won't. And it shouldn't. And Jalene Maxwell needs to be behind bars. Jeffrey Epstein accuser files lawsuit naming Jalene Maxwell and three unnamed employees as enablers. This was back in August 14th. That's four days after Epstein was murdered. 
a different woman. Epstein is gone, but justice must still be served. Arrows 32 said in a statement on Saturday as news of the death broke, I hope the authorities will pursue and prosecute his accomplices and enablers and ensure redress for his victims. This woman was 15 years old when they raped and trafficked her. I got so much credit for um, and respect for any of the victims coming forward because this, be, this can't be easy. But now is the time. You need to get more evidence and more people need to come forward. I can't begin to know what you went through. I can't begin to sit here and say, oh, you just come forward, it's easy. I'm not saying that at all. I can only imagine. And if people are too afraid to come forward, I get it. But this is how we got to prevent this from happening because it's still going on, by the way. I mean, they found out Epstein was uh, trafficking and abusing children when he was... Uh, incarcerated the first time in Florida in 2009. You know, when Acosta gave him that sweetheart deal and Acosta was told, back off, he's an intelligence asset. You know, William Barr was involved in that. Oh, more of Trump's guys and the Clintons and everybody else. So this is, there's two things there's two big things that need to happen here. One, as I said, redress for the victims and also to prevent future because Epstein wasn't just like one guy that did it a couple of times. And all that evidence that was seized, well, is the FBI really still unclear as to what happened? The U.S. Attorney's Office in Manhattan also declined to comment, citing the Justice Department's policy of refusing to confirm or deny investigations. Well, you're investigating Jalene Maxwell. There might be some other people you might want to, because, uh, oh, here she is. This is Chelsea Clinton's wedding. There's former President Bill Clinton. There's Jalene Maxwell. This was two years after she settled out of court with Virginia Roberts. That's Virginia Roberts when she was a child. There's Prince Andrew. There's Jalene Maxwell. Apparently, this photo was taken by Jeffrey Epstein. Tell you what, FBI, I, I can put this together in my own apartment here, who you should be charging. Not probing, charged. Oh, here's Harvey Weinstein. There's Jeffrey Epstein and Jeline Maxwell at some filthy creep billionaire pedophile party where they all dress up. You're, you're no soldier. You're no officer need to be in prison the rest of their, their filthy lives. Hollywood. Who else should you, you be investigating the FBI? I don't know, everyone in this photo. On Epstein's plane, on Epstein's plane, on Epstein's plane. Flight records indicate this. Stayed at Epstein's house, stayed at Epstein's house. Stayed at Epstein's house. Cheated too, probably. Prince Andrew, good friends with Jeffrey Epstein. Trump, Prince Andrew, July 2019. Oh, we're all on a golf trip. Trump, Bill Clinton, and the last two mayors of New York. You know New York the state that was overseeing the prison where Epstein killed himself, I'm sorry, murdered. Enough with this dancing around probe nonsense, FBI. Go start charging them all. Lock all of these people up. Yeah, get Jalene Maxwell and lock up two presidents and a first lady, couple of first ladies. I'm good with locking them all up. I'm good with locking up this whole gang right here. Hillary, Ivanka, lock them all up. They're all filthy pedophiles. And at the very least, they knew what Epstein was doing, all aware of it and did nothing. He was on his plane once, hung out with him, partied with him. He was on his plane 26 times. Hillary was on the plane. None of them knew. None of them knew. 
I hope more people come forward and I hope the FBI actually does their job. But it's kind of hard when William Barr, who is appointed by Trump, is in charge of the investigation. It's kind of hard when two presidents have direct ties and were on his Lolita Express and stayed at his homes where children were trafficked and raped. It's kind of hard to get a true investigation. This is the ruling class. This is what they do. Thanks for getting your news here, folks. More, upstate, more updates on Epstein, a thing we're not talking about during impeachment. Isn't that weird? We're not talking about it during this Iran, another ridiculous war for the military industrial complex. By the way, arms dealing and sex trafficking, they all go hand in hand. Weird. Isn't that weird? Oil, arms dealing, sex trafficking, all go hand in hand. Ha. Huh. It's almost like we're taking the mask off the filthy, degenerate, soulless, psychopathic, pure evil ruling class that is destroying this planet and everybody in it. So FBI, take them all down. If you arrest everybody, all these billionaire elites, you will be heroes to the world. Thanks for watching the show, everybody. I don't get money from filthy ruling class elites and billionaires. Billionaire by, billionaires, by and large, are, they're illegal. I don't think any billionaires got the stones to donate to this show and actually support what I'm doing. So go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood, rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. That is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. Can't be bought out by e evil, filthy Google. And also Progressive Comedy Tour. We just added Valencia in January, Valencia, California. We're going to Tucson in February. We're going to San Francisco. Also, Ron Placone and I are going to be panelists on the Jimmy Dore Show in Tempe. In March, we are going to Orlando, and Miami, and we're about to confirm Tampa. April, we're going to Seattle and Portland. We're working on some dates for May. June, looks like Louisville, looks like Nashville, and we're about to confirm Atlanta. July, Chicago and Milwaukee, the weekend before the Democratic Convention. More dates to come. Go to GrahamElwood.com for all of these tour dates and follow me on social media. Thanks for watching.